Are you and the Prime Minister at odds? As one of the Home Secretaries with the shortest tenures in history, she has never had a happy relationship with her Prime Minister. With the Prime Minister's divergent views regarding boat crossings and student visas, Liz will be fantastic. She will give us a boost as a potential leader, as many believe she will continue to be, by getting noticed and using no-holds-barred language that will appeal to toy traditionalists. After being caught transferring sensitive government documents to her private phone for sharing with colleagues, The Guardian reading Tofu and, dare I say, the anti-growth coalition is to blame for the disruptions we are seeing today on our roads. She may have left, but her allies in government are still following a difficult line. In reality, I am bound by the ministerial code to represent government policy, therefore, we must be realistic about migration. It's not up to me to predict the Prime Minister's migration policy, the fact that the two most senior members of her cabinet have been gone for five days does not imply stability means loyalists. will continue to reach for ever more unusual arguments to justify it. Sue Ella was taking a good strong line on the boats crossing illegally, which still needs to be dealt with. Sue Ella was taking a good pragmatic line on the seasonal agricultural workers scheme, which again I support. What's been going on? I've heard that there were people in the Treasury and the Bank of England who were not fully supportive of the Chancellor's policy. You repeat these reports, you believe these extraordinary reports, which some would call a conspiracy theory. I'm merely stating that, in my opinion, not all members of the Bank of England and Treasury were sufficiently supportive of the Chancellor. Significant political disagreements within the Conservative Party escalated later in the day into personal disputes, with accusations of shoving and temper fraying. In a perfect metaphor for today, a senior Labour MP made an allegation of bullying in the government division lobbies. At least one member was physically pulled through the door into the voting lobby, which is completely out of order in our system because we are supposed to be able to vote without fear or favor. He was to my mind physically manhandled into the lobby before that there was a whole lot of doing like this very aggressive I've never been an MP for 21 years. There was a group that included several cabinet ministers who were basically shouting at them. Jacob rees who is visible in this photo, vehemently denied that there was shouting, pushing, or manhandling. Whether it was personal politics or policy for conservatives in parliament, there is a growing perception that it will be all but impossible to put it back together again. How many will even try? I have never seen that he says this picture is supporting evidence for his claims.